All right, what's going on guys? So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I use an if statement in order to solve a specific problem for a client. So here's the situation. Uh, this client, they're using, they're actually using Shopify in a very unique way. They're uh, an agency and they have, they provide services like social media, ads, all that kind of stuff. And, but they also wanna sell products and they all, they wanna have it all flow through Shopify, right? So they wanted on some pages, they wanted there to be um, the call to action would be going to like a Calendly link to schedule a call and then other links they wanted to, or other product pages they wanted to, you know, have like a subscription. So like you could be on a retainer with them as for their marketing services. Um, so yeah, so you, you kind of just gotta be clever with how you set this up and um, if I, if it were me running this site, I would probably do a little bit different, I'd probably run it through Webflow or something and, you know, have the e-commerce flow, flow through here or, or flow through webs or f just run it through Webflow too. I've never done that, but, um, I'm sure it's doable to an extent. Um, but so for this, back to the, back to what we're doing here for this specific case, I had to create different product templates for different services that they have, right? So for example, one service had, was for SEO. So SEO had specific, you know, pricing, right? But then you wouldn't say like um, 500 bucks plus 10% um, of ad spend, right? Or something like that. Um, they want, for, for one of the services, they wanted to add that kind of language on there, but that specific product had different variants. So the price had to be dynamic, but that language had to be the same. Um, so let me, let me show you guys kind of uh, a little bit about a, like an example, uh, just so you can kind of see the difference. So this is like a base product, right? So for this, for my dev store, I'm using shoes, right? To show um, the, uh, to like demonstrate this. Um, I didn't want to use their stuff or I, basically just downloaded their their theme and uploaded it into my dev store because I want to give them some, give them some privacy. Um, didn't get their consent for making a video about them, but I learned something today, so I wanted to share it with you guys. So here you'll see this uh, regular product has pricing there. You know, there's no additional text on top of it. It's just the um, it's just the the price, but for the product that I'm talking about, we have the price, but then we also had some language that we wanted to add on as well. So for this scenario, I added um, the use case of like, oh yeah, but let's let's add like, we're having a sale and we wanna have this language everywhere. So, um, you know, let's add 20% off using the code sauce. Um, you could see that this is a dynamic price because uh, select one of the other variants, you'll see the price changes. You'll select this one and the price changes. So um, the way I did this, because was by making two different product templates in Shopify. So before I get into this, let's do it. Um, let me show you guys what that means. If you guys don't understand what product templates are, um, we'll kind of run through that really quick. I want to preface this by I'm still learning too. Uh, I just want to share this whatever info that I have for anyone else who's learning too. Um, just want to throw that out there. Not coming up here like a know-it-all, more just trying to share the share knowledge um, and all that good stuff. So let's go to products. So if you and this only works for 2.0 stores, by the way, guys. Um, I know. There's like older themes on built on Shopify, uh, 1.0, I guess you'd call it. But for this specific situation, it's for 2.0 stores, which 2.0 stores have made my life so much easier and makes Shopify even more fun, uh, which is cool. So you have your default product template, but then you also have all these different other ones that you can make, right? So for example, one of them that the Nike shoe, the, the dunk was just a regular product template and then I created one for, this one's called ads, um, it's for the agency. And it has the dynamic pricing with little additional text. So um, if I was to not use this if statement, 
uh, the price would just be here and I could theoretically add an extra on this template just add a piece of text on here um, but it just didn't look good um, and I just wanted to show you guys um, a different way to do it so I like the way I did it I feel like it's clean but you could easily I understand that you could easily just add a piece of text right here watch like ooh, let's add it add a block let's add there you go, text, the camera's in the way. And then you could add like whatever language you want to do there. Um, and then we could like, let's shift it up. So it's right under there. And it's like under the price, right? So then and there's like some spacing there. So I was like, oh, I don't want to have to like, um, mess around with more styling and stuff. I felt like this solution was a little bit cleaner. So let me just hide that so you guys don't see that. Um, let's save. And so let's get into it. Let's get into the code. So what, we're, what we need to do is we're worrying about price. So I went ahead and found the price snippet in our Dawn theme. Um, you can see I just searched up price and found it, then got it. So then I, I, what I did is I looked for the, just the regular price. Because if you see in this Dawn theme, they have like sale price and it's like a whole different element here that, you, that we can edit and do that. Um, but here we got the regular price. So I found this. I was like, awesome. Step one done. We can, here's what, here's what we have to edit. Um, then I troubleshooted. I went ahead and just added this text in there and I was like, all right, cool. Let's see if it shows up. Um, and it did, which is awesome. But then it also showed up on my regular product too. Right. So I'll even, I'll show you guys what it would look like if I remove this. So let me just have this element. have this show up Oop. and then we put it back there just so I can have it and then let's Oop. All right and let's save it let's see what it does hopefully they didn't break everything and oh no it removed it right so That's what it, that's how it looked like before. So if I even just add like, hi, everyone, and save it, you'll see that it updates over here too. Right. So that's kind of like you you kind of find where you're working with, and then you you build off of it. So I was like, all right, cool. I'm editing now. I know I'm editing the right spot. It's showing up. And so I was like, all right, cool. How do I just specifically target uh, the product template, right? Because it's that's the use case that I want to work off of, like just that specific product template. When that's ha when that's live, when that's displaying, do this, and then if not, just show regular price. So here's the here's the if statement that we're using. So we went ahead and used product dot template suffix is equal to ads ads is the name of the product template. So all you need to do is add that little, the name of it. You don't need to add like product or ads dot, um, dot JSON or something. Um, you could just ads. Then you go ahead and add your use case for that. So when this happens, when this is, the, when this is correct, do this. And then you're saying else. So if anything else is the case, just do this. So just show the regular price. And then we're gonna, with every if statement, you gotta end it. So if, and then end if. And we save it. And then let's go back. Let's make sure to see if it, let's see if it shows up again, right? It shows up correctly. Come on, man. And we're good. Perfect. So look at, let's sh it shows up on this one, this product template, but let's go to our Nike Dunk. Nucky Dunk Retro, and it's regular pricing. What do you know? So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, just wanted to show you that tutorial um, using if statements in Shopify, how to select it, how to select specific product templates, and do logic around that. So you, you can kind of use that for lots of different things, right? Basically, what I wanted to show you was how to select, how to create logic based off of a specific product template. That's pretty much it.
I had fun doing this, sharing it. Hope it was fun for you. Um, if you have any questions or you want to see any more videos, feel free to re leave comments down below. Subscribe to my channel. Please, that'd be awesome. Um, would love to build this community, create more resources for each other, and and just to, I don't know, build more, new, build more cool stuff. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And I'm out. Peace.